This video will describe important surgical pearls to Iceland implantation with a specific focus to hand position. We'll talk about the left pointing eye stent and the right pointing eye stent as well as forehand and backhand grips as well as clockwise and counterclockwise rotations. The surgical microscope is tilted 30 to 40 degrees and the patient's head is rotated 30 degrees away from the surgeon. We will start with the left pointing eye stent which is ideally placed anywhere from the horizontal midline to the left side of the angle. In this case, this will be in the infranasal quadrant of a patient's left eye. The forehand grip is shown here, which is used to place the left pointing eye stent in this position. Notice the hand position here, which is very similar to the holding of a pen. Once the eye stent is placed within the canal, the hand is rotated about 30 to 40 degrees in a counterclockwise fashion to ensure the device follows the contour of the angle. The push button is then pressed to release the eye stent into position. This alternating pictures back and forth will show the initial approach and the final position of the applicator during the insertion of a left eye stent with a forehand grip with a counterclockwise rotation. Again, this is important to permit following of the device along the contour of the angle. We will now look at the right eye stent, which in this case will be placed anywhere from the horizontal to the right side of the, of the angle. In this case, this will be the supranasal quadrant. Notice the change in the grip of the application device. This is an overhand or backhanded grip. This is different than one would use if we were holding a pen, and it's more like one would be using if they were, for example, holding a cigar when we were to smoke. In this case, the angle can be approached and the wrist can then be rotated in a clockwise rotation here to ensure we have again adequate passage of the device following the contour of the angle as it curves around the supranasal quadrant. A forehand grip would make it very difficult with this approach. These alternating views again show the initial approach and the final position of the insertion device with this backhand grip and a clockwise rotation.